Did you know that you can connect your SQL databases in Databricks to ChatGPT models, namely GPT-4, and start chatting with your SQL databases in Databricks without you coding any SQL query? Yes, we can do that in Langchain, so let's go! Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, welcome everyone to my Databricks notebook, which I'm going to show you how you can use Langchain to chat with your SQL databases in Databricks. By the way, you can run this code, which is a Python code, anywhere, not just in Databricks notebook. I'm running this Databricks note this code inside Databricks notebook because it's easier for me to showcase this capability. But if you have VS Code, any notebook, any Pythonic environment out of Databricks, you can still run this code. But there's a difference. If you want to run this code outside Databricks, at the beginning of your code, you should set up some credentials to connect your Databricks. For example, you have to put your API token from Databricks, your warehouse ID, the cluster ID to connect to the runtime of uh, these Databricks. But because I'm running this code inside Databricks, I didn't need any of them. I just needed to tell what Databricks SQL table that I want to get connect to. And I want to show you how. So let me delete this. First of all, make sure Langchain OpenAI is installed. Install this. And there are some additional libraries you have to install. So let me show you those first. Let me go to my cluster that I ran this notebook. Here's mine. And if I go to the libraries, Forget about the first two, there were some typos, but these are the libraries you need to have. Make sure that you have Databricks SQL Connector. This is the version that worked for me. I saw some bugs in different versions, so 2.9.3 was the one that worked. Make sure you install Langchain. Langchain community is already installed when you install Langchain, but I just did this in case if it's not there. And SQL Alchemy, again, the version 2 was the one that worked for me, so you can try that as well. And in order to show you the runtime that I use for this workshop, uh, for this notebook, I use Databricks Runtime 14 with Scala 2.12 and Spark 2.5.7. And the compute size, it doesn't matter really. So let's go back to the notebook to see what I did. So because again, I'm running this inside Databricks notebook, I didn't need to have those token and stuff. I just only and simply need to say what Databricks SQL database I want to get connected to. So what is catalog and what is a schema? Let me show you. So if I go to SQL editor, which is here, you will see that it's there's something called catalog and under that I have multiple catalogs. I don't have any data set created in this Databricks yet. That's why I want to use the sample data sets that comes with Databricks, any Databricks that you create. That's why the catalog name that I choose is sample and under samples, you should see the same thing. There are a couple of uh, tables, the NYC taxi, there's I think there are two more tables under these samples that's going to be shown. There you go. And the one that I use is NYC taxi. Again, that can be your data, not just a sample one. And you can see inside this database, I have trips information. So that's a pretty well known example that you have some information like the fair amount, pick up zip code or drop off zip code. These are some information about different trips in New York City. And if I go back to my notebook, that's why you will see I have used the catalog as samples and I used NYC Taxi. By the way, as always, make sure you have your OpenAI key as an operating system environment variable. So I remove mine, that's a credential, but make sure you have it because we're gonna use GPT-4 to chat with our SQL database in Databricks. So import Langchain OpenAI and chat OpenAI. You can adjust the temperature as needed from zero to one, but I keep it at zero because I don't need creativity here. And GPT-4 gonna be the model I'm gonna use to chat with my NYC taxi, which is a SQL database in Databricks. Now, just simply, I'm going to create the Langchain agent that's gonna use SQL database and my Databricks I have specified on the top already the toolkit that I'm importing, and now I have my agent that I can ask my questions. So the question that I simply ask is, what is the average duration of taxi rides that start between midnight and 6 a.m.? 
sorry for the color that wasn't really my choice but let me highlight it so it's better for you you'll see that it understand that oh your trips table contains some data some fields that need seems to be helpful and then it understood what sql query is needed to answer this question it executed that sql query and just simply gave back the answer to me that hey the average duration of taxi rides that start between midnight and 6 a.m is approximately almost 16 minutes this is fantastic so without me coding anything i'm just chatting in human nature language and i can get the answer ready for me here and you can try to connect it with your own database tables that you have in databricks sql give it a try and let me know what you think and uh, by the way let me also tell you the code that i leverage here is from langchain examples and i will add the reference link of all these codes inside discord channel so the link of Discord channel is in the video description below. Click on it. When you open Discord channel, there is a section called reference. Go there and you will see the link of this notebook added for you. Give it a try and hope you enjoy it. Thanks all for watching this video. Your values matter, but what matters more is your habit. So what is your most valuable habit? Dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action. Till next video.